public address announcer or in stadium announcer, I guess some people call it, and uh, I'm the guy that fans hear during the game saying, Come on up, Matt Black, 39. Number 39, Matt Black with the sack. Third down, Montreal. Yeah, I do the football end of the public address stuff, not to be confused with Strizzy, who's the on field uh, host who's fantastic and gets the crowd whipped into frenzies and runs all the contests and things like that. Well, I show up three hours before kickoff, so for a 7.30 game, uh, we'll be in at 4.30, and there's a uh, production meeting for the whole crew, the whole game crew, uh, led by Kiri Hillier, who's uh, fantastic at the job and coordinates everything that uh, fans are going to see out there on the field, outside of the football, of course, but all of the entertainment things. We go through the scripts. That takes us a good 20, 25 minutes, sometimes about a half an hour. Uh, when we get that done, everybody has, uh, uh, has an idea of what's expected from them for that night, if there are any changes from the previous game. And then after that, I have actually an a awful lot of time before uh, kickoff. I don't really actually spring into action until about 20 minutes before kickoff. The gentleman beside me, his name is Tom Caligari, and he is an incredible spotter, and I need him. He's my second set of eyes, and he is, I, I don't know if he's the best in the league, but I can't imagine anyone being better at his job. He takes the binoculars. We're both watching the play. Obviously, sometimes I'll pick out, you know, who the pass was complete to and maybe even who made the tackle, but if I can't, he will. He'll confirm it. He'll quickly yell out the numbers, you know, uh, you know, reception number two tackle by number 48 and then I quickly turn on the microphone and, and complete those thoughts or verbalize those thoughts for the fans in the stand so they know exactly what happened. Take a look at the ribbon board or the down and distance markers, do some quick calculations and uh, figure out if it's second and seven or second and six, that sort of thing. Watch for other things like has a flag been thrown on the play, announce that. Keep people up to date on who might be injured if we can spot the number of, uh, of the injured player. But so, and Tom's part of all of that. Um, it'd be a very difficult job to do by myself. I'd been approached about it, you know, in the past, and I always said the same thing. No, I like sitting in my seats and, and having a couple of beers and just being a fan. And then I, I got pressed into action in the playoff game last year uh, in a pinch, and I said, sure, I'll do it. And I had such a blast up here. Basically, I'm still allowed to be a fan. I'm up here, I'm watching the game. They want me to be enthused about what the Argos have done, which is easy for me to do. I can remember during that playoff game against Edmonton, uh, there was a great play. I can't. I think it was Chad Owens. Might even have been, you know, the punt return for the touchdown. And I just sat up here and I just went, "Oh, what a play! That was fantastic. That was excellent." And Tom said, "You're going to call it out?" And I, oh yeah! And I hit the microphone and said, "You know, Chad Owens with the touchdown run." So it's a blast. It has really added to my experience of, uh, of watching Argo football. I, I love it. First down.